This video is about the goalkeeper position in our 7v7 uh, format where we play a 2-3-1. One of the most important roles for the keeper is what they do when we're playing out of the back. So the keeper restarts play either on a save. If they save the ball, they can use the whole box. They can run up to the very top of the box uh, to throw the ball. Uh, and oftentimes that's a better option than sitting, coming back. Sometimes what you'll see is the keeper will come back actually into their goal box and they won't use the full range of the penalty box. There's absolutely no reason that you can't go up to the top of the box, especially if you're trying to make a pass into space. Uh, if you have a lane and can do that, then great, do it. But if we're setting up to play out of the back, like off a goal kick, the center mid is going to drop, and that's an option. Our left center back is an option. Our right center back is an option. And even our striker should be an option. If they have found uh, a lane of space, then we always want to play to the highest man possible. So that's, uh, that's going to be an option. But assuming we put it over here to the right back, the goalkeeper should be giving information wherever they pass. So if the right center back uh, has time and can turn, then they need to hear time, turn from the goalkeeper. If we pay, play up to the center mid and they have someone right on them, then I want to hear the goalkeeper say, man on. So there should always be information. Anytime you pass, there should be information. Um, but assuming we pass out to the right center back, be an option. So if you need the ball back, if they are getting uh, pressed very hard and you're open, Great, call for the ball. Say, you know, back to back to me. You've got me. You've got me, and we can bounce it. Um, so, be active. Uh, be smart in terms of when you're outletting uh, long. Can you make that throw? Can you make that kick? If you can't, then don't do it. We don't want to force anything uh, ever. Uh, but you have lots of options. Make sure you use them. Make sure you give information to the person who's receiving the ball. When there's a corner kick. The job of the goalkeeper is to organize the defense. So you should be calling out, hey, who has this player? Whoever, left center back, pick them up, center mid, pick them up, right center mid, you get them, right mid, watch the far runner, whatever it is, who, whatever it is. The goalkeeper, it's the goalkeeper's responsibility to have everyone picked up. The goalkeeper sees the, the field in a way that no one else does. They need to be able to call out uh, uh, who's open. And that goes for the run of play as well. So if there's a runner who's coming who's unmarked on the far post and you see that, call out, man, far post, mark them, whatever it is. If the ball isn't being pressured, I want you to call out pressure. Someone take pressure. The goalkeeper organizes the defense off the corner and in the run of play. Uh, you should hear a lot of their voice uh, uh, as instructions are shouted out about picking up who needs to get picked up. Beyond that, the goalkeeper should almost never really be on their line. You want to be off the line. And, and just remember, you can run out to grab a ball anywhere in here. Um, and sometimes that's going to be way better than waiting for them to come to you. So if, we're, if they're breaking on us and they have the ball and they're coming in, there's no reason to stay on your line. Go out. Make that angle smaller. Um, they may shoot it right into you. They may uh, shoot wide. It's way better than staying on your line and having them come in and make all the decisions. So we want to force the defender in a one-on-one -on -one situation to make a decision, uh, and we want to reduce the angle that they have as much as possible. And that's really all you need to know about playing keeper.